Hey everyone, Ryan here. Welcome back to Ryan Vision Entertainment, where I like to review movies all the time and give my opinions about today's movies. So today I would like to talk about the new movie of Milan. So if you go all the way back to 1998, we at Disney gave out the animated movie Milan, which I felt that it was a perfection at its best, of course, animation at its best just as well. And you have those songs that I really gave a great tune to the movie this as well. So speaking of that to go moving in, into this time of 2020, uh, Disney once again had to bring another movie, live action movie, to the big screen. So we are familiar of them actually bringing out, uh, what is it? Uh, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, The Jungle Book. Uh, there's a few more in there I know I'm missing, uh, but the list just continues on. And still, and they still have plans of future movies just as well with The Little Mermaid, uh, Cruella, Cruella de Vil, in other words. And uh, Emma Stone will be playing her. So that will be an interesting look, this as well. But going back to this uh, uh, movie, Milan, I felt... I was actually looking forward to this because uh, this movie was actually supposed to be set to be uh, premiered uh, back in March, of course, due to this uh, pandemic with the COVID-19. It really shifted things around. And uh, this is just not this. A lot of movies got shifted because of this issue. And uh, they, they had uh, certain dates, of course. And uh, this movie's actually been uh, out for the last month and a half or around at that time. Came out to the Disney Plus. You had to pay a surcharge of 30 bucks, of course. I, of course, wasn't uh, wanting uh, to pay that much because I usually, when I go to the movies, I don't usually pay that much for a movie. It's usually like 10 or 15 bucks most of the time. And I, I just didn't see myself paying that money. I didn't want to see the movie a lot. But I waited until that time here for December 4th, which is just the other day, of course. And now you can li have the liberty of watching this movie for free. I I got the opportunity to watch this the other night. And I, I'm actually glad I watched it because I was still, I'm not sure about, about this watching this movie. I did read other people's reviews uh, when the first movie first came out and they were uh, a lot of disappointed people. But you gotta have, a, you gotta really have an open mind when, when you're watching these movies. I know you're never gonna replace original classic movies like stuff like, of course, like Milan, Little Mermaid or Lion King, something like that. It's live action movie. Once again, to the big screen. And what they are you going to actually bring, if, if the story's going to be the same, or will they actually bring something different? And I actually felt felt like they did something different a little bit to the story. They kept true to the story of the 1998 uh, version of Milan's animated movie. Milan actually, what she actually does is to help protect her family. Her uh, dad's been in so many wars in the past, and uh, this he, de he doesn't have the strength anymore to, uh, to go into another war. So she steps in. It's supposed to be a, a son, of course, in this case, but she's the dressed up as a boy to get into this uh, war to help out. And I really think that's a, this is a strong message, of, especially for uh, today, what's going on in the world today, how uh, females can, uh, this, this is will be strong. And this is a strong message. I, I always like this movie, uh, The Milan. I've watched it, the uh, old animated movie a number of times. And I felt this really stuck to, it, it really did stick to the story of this. The things that have been different in this movie, of course, is, let me see, let me think. Uh, Mishu, for starters, uh, Mishu and that Lucky Cricket are not in this, of course, but, but that's really brought the, uh, the chemistry in that anime movie to this as well. Eddie Murphy played the voice of Mishu, perfect, a small little dragon protection that helped Milan uh, move on. And th th that's the thing in this one, too. The, the, the thing that really, uh, there is a little something uh, that helps her on the side. Not, I don't want to say a psychic, because Mishu was kind of like a psychic in a way. If you know what Phoenix, uh, Phoenix are, Kind of if you've seen those Harry Potter movies, uh, there's a phoenix in those. They come back and rebirth and do what they can do, actually do. Get the magical healing, something like that. And that's what actually happens in, in this movie, too. So I'm not going to say too much. I, I hate giving spoilers if I have, if I can really stick to the story. But the other half of it, too, too. If you remember the, uh, the prime villain in Milan, this as well, which is Abora Khan. He's got that bird on his uh, shoulder that always delivers a message. And uh, in this case... I kind of saw that in a way of that, but the whole mix with this whole different story is uh, that the bird got uh, turned into a witch. Well, actually it goes both ways, I think. It's the witch turning into the bird concept, but I feel this is uh, a different story. They, I don't know if it really was uh, necessary to have something like that, of course. Uh, that's where I kind of thought uh, this is okay, <laughs> what's going on here. And, and uh, if to tell the truth, when it get, they got to the end of the movie too, they, it would. There, there was a really strong message between uh, the witch and Milan. I know they didn't see eye to eye throughout the whole movie, but there is a really cool message throughout the movie with that. But I really felt the story actually kind of worked kind of well too. This as well, everything uh, pretty much stayed the same with uh, the emperor. Uh, they had to uh, find out with uh, uh, Borakon that they they were actually his army were actually going for the emperor and taking down and 
being in charge, of course. And, uh, uh, you gotta remember too, because I can start mentioning um, uh, names to this, the people in, in the cast. You go back to the 1998 uh, version for the man, for the anime movie, that Pat Morata, where you, you can never replace the a guy that uh, prepared in the Karate Kid movies being uh, Mr. Miyagi, of course, he, a nice, lovable guy. And he brought that lovable uh, char characters as well in the anime movie, being the Emperor. And um, in this one too, uh, uh, you got Jet Li. Jet Li is the uh, the emperor in this, and I got I thought he was gonna bring some of that kung fu action into it or stuff like that, but no. He's just the emperor, of course. He has his army this as well to help protect him. But Jet Li, I, it's really cool to see a Jet Li. He's uh, been great in all these movies in the past, and it's a great represent uh, of an empire in this new Milanus as well. So who else do we got in this cast? Since I've been mentioning uh, the prime villain, of course, uh, Bora Khan, Jason Scott Lee was the actor in that part. And I actually felt he did a really good job. He I did, didn't have really have that dark voice that, that was in it. And you got to think outside of all of this as well, too, what these actors can actually bring to this new Milan movie. And the other person that I should really be mentioning in this case of Milan is Merlon herself, which is I Ify Lu, which represents the true of this movie, I bring a new Milan to the movie this as well, and I thought she did an excellent job as, as it is. Never actually seen her in the never role of a movie before, but I actually thought she was a strong Milan in this movie, and she brought a great character to this movie, and I, she is great at what she does. And you also have a Donnie Young, who played Commander Tung. Great. He, he, he played a great commander, and uh, Everyone stood up to the part really good in this movie. It's just, I just don't know. I read most of the reviews uh, from, uh, I usually like to read them, especially if the movie did not come out right away. I like to, to see what other people's opinions are actually are about this movie. But pe people are pretty positive. I should say uh, there are some positives, but a lot of negatives as well. Saying the fact I was saying earlier, a lot of people didn't really not give this movie a chance. It's about open up your mind and try to see something different, of course. Of course, you got to remember to, Walt Disney also did say he wanted to bring these up films and some up different form this as well, too. He wanted those uh, stories to always be retold this as well. So uh, I do want to mention a few more things before I actually start uh, wrapping things up. But uh, uh, since I mentioned uh, there were no songs in the movies, stay for the credits. Because uh, the credits, you will get some recognizable music from the animated movie. And the cool thing, too, I've learned, too, this as well, too. Uh, Milan... It, it be actually saying reflection in uh, her, her language, the Chinese language. And I thought that was really cool. Uh, so that, once again, stay for the credits. Uh, that's always reasons why I don't understand why people leave uh, once you see uh, the beginning uh, of like where it says director or written by. People just leave for the credits. Uh, maybe saying at home may actually help and you can actually listen to music. Music is incredible. They enhance the music so well. It's this, it's not a musical, but yet, so magical at the same time. So even though this movie was not a musical, I really thought this meaningful was beautifully done with the cinematography, how everything was dressed up really good. Milan looked great, I gotta say. So anyways, uh, that's was my review on the new movie of Milan. And I felt once again, I gave myself a good open mind about this movie. I know once again, I could be so critical about these movies in the past, and I really did with The Lion King and Beauty and the Beast. It's just the fact uh, uh, they didn't bring something different. They, they retold the story the same, way of course and believe it or not this was the first one i actually thought milan did really good with even though they brought that witch into it i really thought there's a little good touch to the movie this as well so anyways i'm gonna start wrapping things up before i start breaking up even more into a song so i'll see you guys next time make sure to give those thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching